Alright, here we go. Let's talk to Joker real quick. You know, let's talk to Navigator. Yes, Commander. Gary he has, he has yes, nothing sir. to say. Alright, everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing our playthrough. On our last episode, we we fought the Thor the Thorian. We won um, Zeus help or Ferris fields. And uh, I think before we go get what do we have? Before we find Liara, let's go back to the council, to the citadel, and talk to people around there. Uh, hey, Commander! Next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. Alright, see ya. <laughs> uh, let's talk to Kaden. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Speak your mind. Blanco. When it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is trading people to aliens for some kind of lost knowledge. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. I hear you. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... <laughs> I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Nah, it's okay. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Compelled. In quotes, quotation marks, they were forced. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Hmm. Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Huh. There Friends. were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. Mm hmm We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to talk. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana. Rana had a little circle grow up around her. What was she Rana was from like? Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same, but things never felt together. Training. You 
He ran away from you because you're boring. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Hmm. Nice conspiracy. I like it. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Uh, you can talk Blanco, to me. there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Eh, boring. All right. Let's talk to Garrus. Commander. How are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Such as... Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Yeah. I know what that's like. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. Nope. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. Mm, you were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Typical. If I said typical, I'm, I'll be referring to some Turian insults. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Mm, not Just true. because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Better think fast. I'll throw you out the airlock. Actually, we should be bad guys. We should... Commander, you have a minute to talk. Alright, boring. Alluring, Ashley. What? I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. Alright. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens. Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Yes. They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. Mm. 
You're out of line. That's, that's here what she has to say. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need allies. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look. If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Mm. Why do you feel that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Hmm. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Hmm. Huh. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I come from a military family too. My parents were both Navy. Anybody in your family we might know? Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? Mm. To see space. You know what? To serve the Alliance. Mainly I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance, save lives, you know. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. I come from a military family Couldn't too. Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? Mainly I wanted to serve. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. Just shut up. Annoying Ashley. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. What about me? But no, we don't want to romance her. I Thanks. don't think kissing Torians will be necessary. <laughs> you never know, Commander. What's your opinion on Gotta the Gotta admire those Colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Alright, goodbye. Looking forward to it, sir. Alright. We're using infiltrator, so snipers and pistols. Got it. Spectre training. Tactical armor. Alright. Shepard? Hey, Rex. So, we've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. Now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. 
I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew him? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Huh. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Huh. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Jesus. You're a pirate, Rex. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Hmm. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Huh. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's it? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Damn. That is... Jesus. So long, Rex. Shepard. 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 Let's go. Oh, hello, Shepard. Ah, what's wrong? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. More than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Oh, so that's what it says. You're homesick. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. Uh. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Alright, Tally. I should go. See you See later. You, later. <laughs> you just know what they're gonna say. Shepard? Shepard?
Alright. Let's go back to the Citadel. Ferris. That's our first major mission. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Oh. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. I love Hackett. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. <laughs> virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. I'm on it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Let's go ahead and scan every... Hercules. So long, Ferris. Rest in peace, fight then. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. We were supposed to just go... This is it, isn't it? Medallion recovered. While scanning, see a dead or whatever. You discovered a large debris field in a geo geosynchronous orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted several detailed sweep of the area and detected a few items of interest, including a league of one medallion encased in lead molding. Alright, that's where we're supposed to go, isn't it? Ooh, yellow planet. Hydrogen helium gas giants. Heavy metal survey. Alright, let's go do this Hackett's order. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Take Garrus and Rex. Oh, geez. All right. The 
Medal of Exploration. Let's look at the map. Yeah, let's get the probe. And we can get the other stuff. Ah, I love what they did. They fixed the, the Mako. For those of you who are new to Mass Effect, the Makos, what we're seeing here, the, um, the boost, they got it from the Mass Effect Andromeda. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? A monkey-like creature. Yes, we're doing this the hard way. Oh, hell. Watch it, let's stand whatever this is. Is that gold? I'm on my way. Gold. It looks like a giant turd. Golden turd. They are the monkey things. Oh God. You're joking. These monkeys have it, do they? <laughs> oh man, let's go see this anomaly. This is so beautiful. Remember, this planet has a ring like Saturn. I like the amount of detail they put here. They actually show us the ring of this planet.
glowing balloon thing. Prothean ruin. Examine. Strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular shaped slot on the underside. It looks as if some would fit some kind of oddly shaped key or trinket. But where such an object could be found is a mystery you are unlikely to ever solve. Mysterious glow. Please tell me we're not gonna let's see Prothean Prothean. When we find all seven of these, did we come back here? I don't know. Alright, let's carry on. Research done this, this. Let's go this way. The only bad thing about this game is the hours you spend messing around. Oh, you're kidding me. We're gonna have to do this as many times, aren't we? Ugh. 
<laughs> there is no probe here. God. Why is my health depleting? Oh, level one hazard. This place is not good for me. It's gonna be inside this structure, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm not gonna do all this. Let's just go straight in here. This video is presented by the Let's Roll Podcast. Link in description below. Follow us on all of our social media. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification button. See you in the next video.